This is Ralph Irvin at the J.D. Morgan Center, where uh, we are joined by UCLA gymnastics head coach Valerie Condos Field. The team uh, suffering an injury yesterday, and uh, Coach, I know you wanted to update uh, gymnastics fans about that. Yeah, unfortunately, Vanessa Zamaripa uh, ruptured her Achilles tendon. And it was it was sad because not just you hate it when an athlete gets injured, but this was the first time Vanessa's ever been severely injured. She's never had a surgery before, so it, it really caught her off guard. Um, you know, I, as I told her, welcome to the world of athletics, unfortunately, Vanessa. And the good news is that people recover very well from Achilles injuries. I told her, I said, you're actually in pretty good company. Brittany McCullough had both of her Achilles reconstructed, as did uh, Courtney Coupets, as did most recently Chris Waller. So uh, she kind of got a laugh out of that. She didn't really realize that. But, you know, she was scared. But I think the more she's learning about the injury, the more she realizes that she's going to be okay. Well, and as a defending NCAA vault champion and obviously a very important member of a national championship team, how do you replace uh, uh, Vanessa Zamaripa? You know, you don't replace I – don't, I don't ever feel like you replace an athlete – um, this is one of the questions that I received from the Q and a that we got last week. How do you replace Anna Lee? And I don't look at it that way. I look at it like our, our team is a puzzle and every person on the team is a piece of that puzzle. And Vanessa's piece is still there. It's not like we're going to replace her with something else or take her out of the puzzle, but how do you enhance those other puzzle pieces to bring out what's best, their best efforts and take them from that nine, eight to that nine, nine range. So that's going to be the challenge for the team, which you know, we coaches are really looking forward to that challenge. Um, when you look from a pure score standpoint, you know, Vanessa's going 9-9 on every event. So uh, we've got to we've got to now make the importance of fine tuning all of the routines, the skills, the landing positions, all of that really stress how important that is. And it's like I said, we've got a plethora of 9-8 scores. We got to get those 9-8s now to 9-9 and 9-9-5s. Um, I think Vanessa will be most missed on vault because that is she's known for her lightness. But, you know, we've gotten to the point in Poly Pavilion where the entire crowd starts going like this, which means Vanessa's flying because that just what seems like what she does when she vaults. And that was, you know, a fun part of the character of what she brought to our team. So that will be missed. Well, and from a personnel standpoint, now everybody on the roster knows that that spot is there, that if they perform to their best, there's really a chance for them to show themselves. Oh, exactly. Yes. We're, we are deep this year, luckily. Um, with Vanessa gone, you know, it's it's horrible to see any athlete get injured. Any athlete. Um, obviously, she is a marquee athlete, so that that brings a little bit more weight to the situation, but it's four spots that have opened up on our team. And you could see it within the teammates yesterday. They were very concerned about Vanessa. I mean, you heard the pop clear across the gym, so everybody knew what had happened. And you saw them come over, make sure she was okay, and then just immediately get refocused. That was interesting as a coach for me to see that happen. Well, and speaking of Vanessa, what does she now go through in rehabilitation uh, from this injury? It's a long injury. It's a long rehab. It's, excuse me, it's a long rehab. Um, she, she's having surgery on Tuesday, and it'll be a good six months. Um, she's going to miss the whole season. If, if you're going to have an injury timing-wise, it's, it's the best time to have the injury. That sounds silly to say, but uh, she'll be fine for next year. Um, hopefully she'll be healthy, and she'll be able to come back in red shirt and take her fifth year and – uh, you know, looking forward ahead, I, as I explained to her, because she was asking about what this means for her future and her fifth year and all that. And I said, honey, we're hosting the national championships your fifth year. I said, let's get you healthy and let's get you competing in Poly Pavilion uh, for your the last thing you'll be doing for your college career. So she lit up when I explained that to her. All right, Coach, thanks for the update. And uh, we'll see you in January as you uh, start competing. Thank you. It'll be a great season. That's UCLA head gymnastics coach Valerie Condos Field. Of course, for the latest news and notes on UCLA gymnastics, you get it all right here. UCLA Bruins.com.